Hello, welcome to a text video using Photoshop. If you'll notice, I'm going to go under File. I'm going to open a picture. In this case, I'll choose a grizzly bear that I have. Open it up for you. Using my keypad, I'll type in Control-0 and make it come out to the full size for viewing. Next, I'll go over to my T and choose my Text Tool. And I'll go ahead and I will make sure that my font is set to Cooper Black. I'll click on the area and I'll go ahead and type uh, I'll type grizzly. Oh no, I'll do bear. And it'd be better if it's capital, so let's put the cap box on and do it that way. Well, you notice it's not really that big. I'll click my layer area. It becomes the same text as what is here. And I will go under edit to free transform or I could click control T. This allows me to take and change the size of the text that I have. I want to make it large to cover the object. So I'm going to increase the size of it so that it looks better to me. That ought to work. When I get it there I hit the enter key. That locks it in place. It doesn't really matter what the color of the text is now, I'm going to take my background, I'm going to double click on it, and the new name I will put in here will be uh, Layer 1. I will right click on that and I will duplicate the layer, and I'll call this Layer 2. I'll just, I'll just call it Bear. Bear 1 just so it's something different than the other one. Now at this point I am going to take and hide the background layer, move the bear underneath, and I'm going to hold the Alt key down. And you'll notice I'm hovering right in between these two. So as I hover in between it changes into a little dot. I'm going to then click. You're going to notice that now I have the text if I were to use my movement tool, you could see the text will take and cover whatever part of the background I want. Next, I will then visually let the background appear. It seems as if the text is hidden. So let's open up the text so you can see. I'll double click on the text. I'm going to add a drop shadow. I'll click on the word. I'm going to make a distance of 10, 11, something in there. I'll make the bevel and emboss. I'll click on the word so you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and add a contour with it uh, and no texture. I'll click OK. Now when I open up the bear, you can see it stands out. You can do different effects. For example, if I take and I choose that layer, I could go to the layer and no, to my image adjustments and I'm looking for desaturate. There we go. Notice now I have color on top of the white. So if I were to come over here, I now have my colored area on top of the black and white. Uh, another thing that I could do is I could create a new layer. And that layer I will fill it. Edit. Fill. And uh, my foreground colors are green, so I'll go ahead and uh, use my foreground color. I could use the background color, add a color I want, or make it black or white. In this case I'll choose the foreground color and hopefully it will click for me. And now I will move this down below the bear. Notice I then have a area like this. One more effect for you. I'll take and uh, get rid of this layer. I'll delete it. Actually edit uh, step backward, Alt Control Z. I'm going to step back a couple steps here so you can see that we have the color in the background. And I'll change this layer, select it, filter. Oh, let's go to blur. I'll use a, uh, a motion blur. No, I don't think I will. Filter, blur. 
I'll use a radial blur instead. That'll look better. I'm going to set my zoom at 72 and I will click OK. Notice how in the background now I have a zoom effect back behind the bear. You can try these different effects and, and see what you like. Thank you.